It took me a while to know the difference uh, between both male um, and female flowers. Uh, so now I know I know better and I want to share with you. Um, up till yesterday, I still had a question about um, what is the difference between the male and the female flower on the zucchini or squash plant. So I'm going to just show you quick what the difference are. On this plant, on this plant, I have the female flower. Uh, you can see there's a bulge behind it. It's like a little fruit. But this fruit is not developed until it is pollinated. So don't see this and say, oh, my zucchini uh, fruit is coming up. Uh, yeah, it's coming up, but it still has to be pollinated before it can start to grow. The male flower has a thin, lanky stem, and it stays lanky until uh, the flower falls off of it. Another distinct feature of the male is that it has um, it has the stamen uh, on it. is very different from the uh, from the females. Inside the female flower is a top bulb structure called the stigma. Uh, it kind of looks like multiple sections arranged in a, in a circle. There's a center in there. And again, if you place them side by side, you'll see the difference. Uh, this one just have a single strand of stamen and the female has uh, multiple uh, strands uh, arranged in a kind of circle. If you look at the back of the flower of the flower you see the female has the bulge and the male has and the male has this thin long structure those are the two key differences uh, between the male and the female plant i hope this video helps um, it's important to know the difference when it comes to pollinating uh, your zucchini or your squash until next time keep planting keep learning and keep growing and I'll see you.